guys, this is Priscilla. This is Sunny. Oh, Sunny, you know what? I've been talking about Chinese New Year for so long, like for so many days, and finally it's over. No, yeah, today is Lantern Festival. All right, and Lantern Festival in Chinese we call it Yuan Xiao Jie. Yes, Yuan means first. Xiao means night, and if we combine them together, that means the first night of Chinese year. Hmm. Yeah. So usually, the fifteenth day of one month is when the moon is round. Yes. Yes. So this is the first night that we can see the full moon. Right. So it's very special this night. Yeah. So that's why we eat <laughs> this. Round. Yes, <laughs> and we call this in Chinese Tang Yuan. Oh, Tang Yuan. Tang means soup, Yuan means round. Right, and it's like sticky rice balls made of dumplings. Ah, mm. yes. Can you tell us the story about our lantern festival? Yeah, there's a legend story behind it, but because it's very long, if we conclude that in one sentence, they'll be like. An emperor was trying to kill a village because the village uh, killed and hunted a crane, which the emperor uh, was watching for. So there was an army oh. came to the village. Oh, and there is a wise man that suggests the whole village to hang up the lanterns, the red lanterns actually, and also to light the fly crackers. Yeah, so the army and emperor came, they thought the village was already being destroyed. Oh yes. So eventually the village got saved. Right, and that's also the reason why we keep some like customs from it, like hanging the red lanterns or lighting the firecrackers. I see. And we still have so many other customs in this festival as well. Yeah, like we will play the video games. Right, and the most important thing that will be yeah, eating. As we mentioned, <laughs> yes, eating dumplings. Yes, and usually uh, we also call them in Chinese like differently in the north part of China and south part of China. So in south of China we call it Tang Yuan, but in the north of China we call it Yuan Xiao. Yeah, so it matches the name of this festival. Yeah. And the good news is, our Beijing campus is going to hold host this like making rice dumplings by yourself tonight. Wow, tonight! <laughs> yes, and for our Shanghai campus, we are going to have it uh, next week, the same activity. How do we register for it? Just comment out the email below. <laughs> Great. Yes, and the other good news is you are going to win two free entry tickets for this cultural activity. Just uh, share and comment below, share to your friends, and we'll pick one very interesting comment, like randomly. So you you all got a chance to win it. Oh, looking forward to it. <laughs> Me too. And lots of you like to say. 元宵节快